only good bug is a dead one. Right, we're back next episode. The hive. This is not too terrifying. So last episode we were able to use some sort I of need to do something. Okay, chill man. We were able to do that ridiculous word puzzle. Not my strength, I have to admit. And uh, we found some gruesome experiments. It looks like the doctors are experimenting on the silent patients, trying to find this cure for this kidney disease, or whatever. We got captured, and we're now having some sort of mental breakdown where we're making out with some sort of four arm strong, strong mutant thing. Senator? Minotaur? I don't know. Something probably from one of the comics you read as a child. So let's. Yeah, this is unpleasant. Can we look at that? Can we look at any of this? Ah, a heap of disgusting insect eggs. Yeah, I agree with that. What is this? What is this? How could she even move her sickeningly bloated bulk? Oh, there's an eye there. Okay. What even is going on? Right, so there's something we can grab there. Oh, 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 oh. No, can't grab that. This building appears to have served some special function. Hmm. Ah, right. This building appears... Alright, let's... Oh, can we just look at this bug? Oh, we're moving very differently. Hmm, this thing has some kind of mechanical harness. Oh, let's take that. Wearing this harness, perhaps they'll think I'm one of them. It's worth a try. Okay. Remember what that did? Oh. ID confirmed. Drone guard class, Sector 7. Proceed. Oh. Right, this is going to be one of the occasions where there's going to be some tiny little thing I'm not going to see. Right, what's this? Class not permitted within the Queen's Chamber. Entry denied. Crap. Right, so we need some sort of disguise. Okay, just looking if there's anything around. No? Let's go. Ooh. This building appears to have served some special function. Careful on these paths. It's a long way down. Grab that. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. Oh, we went inside. Did it go inside? Mm, yeah, maybe it did. I'm not sure. What's this? Nothing. Can we go this way? Oh, yes we can. Oh, what's that? Oh. We can go inside, okay. Oh, hi. A handsome young Cyclops. I hope he can help me. Cyclops. By the makers! Grimwall! You're Grimwall! But what are you doing here? Why have you returned to us? I thought Gromna had everything under control. Grimwall? Is that my name? I don't remember much. Just waking up in this hive and having to battle a few insectoids. I had to use this strange device that I found on the large one, just to pass their security forces. It's an ID harness. Grom built them for the insectoids since they lost their sight. With that on, you look like another bug to them. That's why they're not swarming all over you. Look, my name is Graven. We need to talk more. But until the work slows down, I'm stuck here. Afterwards, I'm going back to my pod. We can meet there. My pod's globe code is Greneser. Use it if you need to get in there for anything. Greneser, okay. Look, I'm too busy to talk now. The couriers are delivering embers from the furnace at a fantastic rate. I'll meet you later at my pod when they shut the furnace down. If they shut the furnace down. Right, so we got to shut the furnace down. Please stay. Not An insectoid it. pincher. The edges are sharp. Let's take it. Okay, now. Please 
Yes. An insectoid pincher. The edges are sharp. Here. Okay, now. Look around. I see the baby. Some kind of scanning unit. This monster is also half machine. The insect is performing a grotesque experiment, putting bits of machinery into the child. Hmm. Is that how they're queuing the kids in the real world? Is it? The insect is the, the insect. A great machine of some sort. Its size alone speaks of untold power. I could barely see the ground through all the clouds. Oh, we're up in the sky, are we? Alright, let's keep going. Go this way. Yeah, I mean, this is... what is that? Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a lot of machinery around. A great machine of some... So seeing the same thing again. A great machine of... Great machine. The bridge seems flimsy. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't cross. Okay. So is there anything here before I try and go anywhere? I can't see anything. Right, let's go. Don't know why we would come that here, but maybe there's something later. I could barely see the ground through all the clouds. Let's go this way then. What's that? Oh, so that's a how to that's a like a handle, I suppose? I'd better be careful on these paths. It's a long way down. Right, let's see what's in here then. Oh shit. That's so many. Slow down! Too many in the machine will overheat. Oh. Too many what? The insectoid's abominable furnace. Ugh. I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. Hmm. This insect is hooked up to a machine. And the levers must control the furnace. That won't solve anything. Why not? It would be enjoyable. <laughs> the insects are bumping a bellows to control the furnace. Right, so we've got to the distract bellows. them somehow. They are used to fan the flames of the infernal machine. Right, so we've got to distract them. So they're putting human bodies in there, or... centaur bodies? Back. So they're complaining it's too many. So we try and put a lot in there, maybe. Tail? Or is that just human? It might be human, not sure. Alright, so we've got to distract them somehow. Maybe. Put too many bodies in there. Alright, what's going on over here? What's this? A large hut. Looks like someone's living quarters. Password. Crap. Entry no, denied. We have a password. Or is this not his hut? That guy's hut. Let's try his hut. A defense mechanism for Grevin's pod. Password. Renasir. Enter. Yay. Oh, see what we can steal in here then. That... A sledgehammer should come in handy. Alright, let's take it. Excellent. Says, Graven's tools. Let's take them. That's what we have. An insectoid pincher. The edges of a sledgehammer should come in handy. Graven's tools. Okay. Graven's... What else do we have in here? So we've got tools. The heater. It's alive. Alright, so just this then. Wonder if Graven has any good crystals. And now, our breaking story this evening.
during a helicopter sweep in the search for another missing child in the troubled remote community of Warrendale. Authorities were startled to discover what appears to be a gigantic insect hive attached to Mount Cytaria, close to the ancient mechanical ruins. Details are sketchy at this point, but some sources have estimated that the visible portion of the hive is only a small part of the greater whole. More details on this breaking story as it develops. In an attempt to halt the infestation of the insect horde that is sweeping across our nation, leading entomologist Gromna will lead a team to infiltrate and examine the ever-growing hive. When asked why he was risking his own life on this mission, Gromna simply replied that he was willing to sacrifice anything to stop the infestation. When he heard the news, President Agris said, Gromna is truly a great man, and we all wish him much success. Today, the nation breathed a collective sigh of relief as word from Gromna finally reached our closest outpost to the hive. Gone for months and presumed dead, it turns out that Gromna's team is not only alive, but they have found a method to slow the horde's infestation. Remaining near the hive, the team will continue their research in an attempt to stop the horde. Hi, Graven. I guess you're not in. You must be out helping Gromna save the world or something. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I miss you. And I really look forward to you coming back to me soon. Goodbye, sweetheart. All right, so there's some sort of infestation. We're in a world of senators. All right, let's carry on. Where else can I go? Can I go along here? No. So it looks like we have to... Not so many! Slow down! Too many and the machine will overheat! Okay. So do I need to smash smash? An insect of a sledgehammer! Let's see. Smash, smash something? No, I can't do that. Can we use this on here? No, not now. For Shrev I can't use. Right, so we can't do anything here, it looks like. Yes. Let's see what we can. Not flashing. No, not now. That won't solve anything. I'm in so shit. That won't solve anything. There we go. Ha ha! Drugs! Stop the bellows! Clear the pipe! To continue pumping with that damage would overheat the furnace! I can reach the controls. I'll shut down this abominable furnace. Yeah. The mechanized arm survived the fire. Hmm. I wonder if it can be used against them, beasts. Yes, let's take it and use it against them. Right. See what we can do here. Hmm. This is more complex than I imagined. There appear to be many controls, all interrelated. Oh, no. Oh, my... God. Yeah, this is not pleasant. Right, so what's this do? Oh, okay. So I can move that to any of those. Blue, red, green. I don't know. Alright, so hitting that makes it reset, is it? Yes.
red. Right, so that's just changing the colours. What's this do? It does anything. At least I can't see it doing anything. Right, so I suppose we're if anything is changing when I do this. So that right, that puts it back to red. Sets back to red, puts it there. And so I can interact with. Oh! 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 Oh, right, so these buttons also do. Oh my goodness. Right, so if I do this. did something. Right, so that closed it a little bit. Okay. Let's reset. Maybe we go to green. Right, so that, okay, so that has gone away. So we need to find this. So purple with those. No, sorry. No. Yeah, that one. Some sort of... Yeah, I think it's that. I don't know what I did before. Oh. Right, so we, oh yeah, we can go there.
that one. Right, close, right, close. Okay. Right, we've got the we've got we know how the puzzle's done now. Right, so now we need to find a squiggly. Like that. No. Okay, there's a squiggly. That's it, fine. Now let's find this one. Okay. Push, push. Next one. Oh, that was purple. Something or other. About the top, about that one. That's it. Right, change the colour. There we go. And done. No more genocide today, monsters. No more embers will be delivered now. I'm certain I'll find Graven resting in his pod. Yeah, let's go there. <laughs> this insect is hooked up to a machine, and the levers must control the furnace. Let's go. Right, let's go and find this dude. He's somewhere. Hi. There you are. I was beginning to get worried. I thought something terrible might happen to you at the furnace. Especially since your memory is gone. No, I don't remember much of anything. I wouldn't even know my own name if you hadn't told me. Every Cyclopean child knows the name of Grimwall. You're the great hero of the War of the One. War of the One? Can you tell me about it? Oh my. You are confused, aren't you? <clears throat> the War of the One was a pivotal point in the history of our people. For years, we had fought the insectoids, neither side gaining ground as the planet was ravaged by countless battles. The Makers, creators of all and of nothing, watched silently for many years before taking action. They spoke to the leaders of both sides through grand visions, declaring that there was to be one final battle for supremacy. The victor would rule the planet, and the defeated race would be forced underground, never to return to the surface again. We won? Yes, thanks to you. You destroyed nearly a third of the troops, all by yourself. If we won, then why are these things back above ground? No one really knows. Actually, no one really believed the story of the War of the One or thought that there were any insectoids. Until now. What? So they remember he killed the insectoids, but they didn't believe in the insectoids. How old are these people? How long has that been? That evil machine will be silent for a while. Evil? It's just a furnace. Isn't it? The thing was burning children, Graven. Cyclopean children. What? But how can this be? Grumna would never allow such a thing to happen. Grumna? That's the name the bugs were using at the furnace. They said he's giving the orders to burn the children's bodies. That's absurd. He's my mentor. A brilliant entomologist. He'd never... Ento... what? Entomologist. He's our foremost specialist on insects. That's why the Peace Council chose him for this mission. Right, so I don't think so. Mission? What mission? What the hell is going on here? We were sent here to examine this hive a few months ago. We were captured, but Gromna convinced the Queen to put aside her plans of conquest and negotiate a peace treaty. Since then, it's been peaceful for both sides. In fact, tomorrow is the day that both leaders will meet to sign the treaty. I tell you it's true, Graven. Something is terribly wrong here, and I think that this Gromna person is somehow involved. You must help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Not unless you have some physical proof to back up these wild accusations. Very well. If proof is what you want, then that's what you'll get. 
take my advice. That harness you're wearing won't get you past every security device. You might want to see the cyber technician for an upgrade. Right, where do we do that? Right. So maybe we go into this other building? It's gonna let us in. Password. Crap. No. Entry denied. It is not. going on in here. We need an upgrade for our harness. Yeah, that's closed. Ugh, I could... Ugh. So we need a... The furnace operator's mechanical limb. It would... I can't use that with a harm. I mean, we can kill this one. I can't... No, not that would harm even me. That would harm even... I don't think we can do anything there, but we might need to come back. So we need to find this technician. Maybe he's in here now. Yes, maybe we talk to him. Who are you? Tick tock! Cyberhead technician! What is your function? To integrate cybernetic enhancements to the flesh. Who designed these robotics? Ramna! Honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Where is he? He is within the Queen's chambers. Since it is the Eve of Retribution, there is much preparation required. His plan must be executed perfectly. Eve of Retribution? Are your memory pathways in need of service? The Eve of Retribution is known by us all. As of tomorrow, we will return to our rightful position as the dominating race of the planet. Under the guise of peace, we shall collect a debt that has been unpaid for decades. What plan do you speak of? Your memory banks must be fluctuating. Ramna has seen the error of his kind's ways and has come to aid us in our desire for revenge. With his gift of cybernetics, we shall once again rule the surface. How will this gift aid us? Are we not mighty enough to conquer the Cyclops without them? Without the speed of cybernetics, we would be vulnerable to the nuclear fire which the enemy controls. Incinerated before we even reach the city. But with the aid of cybernetics, we will be swarming within the walls of the capital before their hands can even reach the launch button. The dawn will bring the age of the insectoid. It is inevitable. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose authorization will I grant this procedure? Um... You delay in your response. I am busy. Return when you can produce the proper authorization. Okay. Looks like an operating table. Yeah, that's probably where he's gonna do that stuff to us. Right, so we need some sort of authorization. See if um, our buddy here can gives us some sort of idea about how we're supposed to do that. Yes, there we go. Robin, TikTok requires authorization to upgrade my ID harness. Who can do that? Normally, Gromna is the only one who can authorize such upgrades. But with the increased activity in the Queen's chambers, he remains there almost exclusively. I think we can fool TikTok. If I make my position sound important enough. What should I say? Tell him that your authorization comes from Graven, protege of Bromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. That should do it. Okay, well that was easy. Go back. And then we're gonna have go to the um 
go to the Hive Queen's room or whatever it is. The throne room. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose affirmation will I grant this procedure? Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Graven, hold while I search my database for confirmation. My records indicate that Graven is the assistant to Gromna. However, his authorization alone is not enough. I will need to verify that you are of sufficient age to be placed within the Royal Guard. Proceed to Link Scanner for positive age identification. Okay, so do we, I assume we use, uh, Furnace operators, mechanic. Use this, do we, somewhere? That would harm even me. So where is the scanner in here? Good. Upgrade authorized. Step forward to have ID harness upgraded. Prepare for upgrade treatment. Treatment? What treatment? A treatment. They found a way to slow down the disease. It says here that a Dr. Morgan was ultimately responsible for developing the DNAV treatment. Didn't you study with the Dr. Morgan back in med school? I was still a sophomore when he earned his doctorate. Well, the treatment's called HOPE. It's supposed to decelerate the growth of the DNAV, almost doubling the lifespan of affected children. The Aztecs found a way to survive the plague of Quetzalcoatl without conventional modern medicine. <sighs> Well, hey, if Morgan is close to a cure, a true cure, then maybe he can use another set of hands. Maybe it's time to pack up here and go home. I don't understand. Right, so we're, we upgraded. I think so. So we don't have the arm anymore, but An we've got the An insectoid pincher, a sledge raven's tool. Alright, so let's... Let's go into the Queen's quarters, I guess. Alright, let's try and get in. Royal Guard class confirmed. Enter. Yes! By the Maker! These are Cyclops' babies! <laughs> Dr. Morgan? What test is this? Ah, Max. You're just in time. This is a test of the subject's... threshold. The serum will travel directly to the neurotransmitters of the brain and without actually harming the monkey, cause it to feel excruciating pain all over its body. What? That's not an experiment! It's torture! What possible purpose- When you outrank me in lab years, Max, you can question the methods. I see the potential fruits of our research, and that justifies the means. No. A valuable lesson in scientific research, Max. In layman's terms, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. <laughs> Don't understand. Morgan is a complete dick. Take one. That not proof. No, my strength will break the bottle. I need something to cut it free. Grab. Right, this cyclops is half bug. Talk to him. Who are you? Grit Gritza. Gritza? Yes. That's my name, Gangplane. Where are you from? From... Dum. Where are you from? From... Team... Team... Team? What team is that? Search... Research... Team... Sent to... 
examine insectoids. Gramna, the leader, the betrayer. Yeah, I think so. Gramna? He was your leader and betrayer? How did he betray you? Betrayer? He did too many. My body. Not Cyclops anymore. Half the beast. His experiments left me off. For I am a freak now. What has he done to you? What experiments? His quest wants to live. Forever see insects as the answer. What? I don't understand what answer. That's, uh, what are you doing here? My duty to the queen. What duty is that? To tend the young ones. They are fragile children. So young, bottles of joy. These bottles have children in them? Clones, grumblers. I'll burn all of these grubs before I leave here. Yeah, we should. Can't see anything? Don't think so. Right, let's use an insect on that. Okay. Don't think there's anything else here. Just grubs. Right, let's go and look our buddy. Showing the evidence that we have collected. So you have to say about that. I've seen your fellow team members in the Queen's chambers. Bromna has interchanged their lower bodies with insectoid anatomy. What? I haven't seen them since. We must save them! I'm sorry, Graven, but their minds are gone. It's too late. May the Makers preserve their souls. I brought you the proof you asked for, Graven. Are you going to help me? By the Makers. Yes, of course. I suppose we should search Gromna's pod. Come on, I have his globe code. Let's go. Password. Crap. Sentry denied. Let's talk to him then, I guess. What's the globe code, Graven? Immortal. That's the word to unlock the door. Password. Immortal. Enter. Those. They appear to be schematics of some kind. Judging by the shape and general mass, I'd say they were diagrams of the Great Machine. Great Machine? What's that? It's the huge round piece of machinery that sits on the edge of the hive. Some say it was left there by the makers themselves. Others think that it's a power source of some type. It used to emit a weird humming noise, but now it remains silent. Hmm. What? According to these notes, two parts may have been removed to aid the insectoids. I need to visit the Great Machine and see for myself. Okay, maybe we should follow him, but before we do that... Can't do anything right now. Let's see if there's anything we want to 
A locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important within. Yes. Mutilated grubs. What is Gromna doing with them? Mutilated grub. Okay. Yes. Gromna's notes. They say that a sound generator will open the worm transport tube. There's a worm transport tube. Right, let's see. I think we still have this. Let's see if that works. Come on, come on! Come on, come on! No. I... Grab a locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important with it. Right, so maybe we need to come back for that. Oh, maybe we can use Hit. the tools. Grab it. Come on, come on! Okay. No luck. Now what? Okay. Let's try again. There has to be a... It's not here. Right, let's go and follow our buddy. Oh, maybe he's down there. Maybe he's down here. Yes, here he is. Have you figured out the purpose of the machine? Part of it. But I need time to properly study it. Gromna has removed two pieces from it. Generators of some kind. I need to attach the missing pieces to get the machine running again. Unfortunately, only Gromna knows where they are. Right, so no help about where we're going to go next, huh? We need to go and find Grum now, but... How are we going to do that? Mm -hmm. Have you figured out the purpose of the machine? Part of it. But I need time to properly study it. Grom now... Okay. So he needs time, so I need find two pieces for him. So the only thing I can think of right now is we go try and open this and open this up. Grab a locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important with it. Yeah. When the two species are merged, a kind of super metabolism is possible. Right, so he can just live forever by Rotating himself with insects. Great idea. So do I need to switch the furnace back on so the tube is working or something? No, no more genocide today, monsters. Okay. No more embers will be delivered now. I'm certain I'll find Graven resting in his pond. I think that is something that we should do. Sledgehammer. I can't, I can't do that. I can't use that heat, no. I can't do yeah. that. No, I'm not. See if there's anything I haven't visited, anywhere I haven't gone. Right, let's have a look around. I'm going to go back to... Ramnell's house, hut, whatever it is. We're missing something. Ramnell's notes. They say that a sound generator will open the worm transport tube. Okay. These designs, I do not understand them. No, nope, neither do I. Is that something? No. When the two species are merged, a kind of super metabolism is possible. When the two species... When the two species... Bugs will kneel before immortal Gromna. Bugs will... Bugs will... Gromna is clearly insane. When the two species... Completely insane. Mutilated grubs. What is Gromna doing with them? 
Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. This pillow appears to be rather lumpy. Ooh, okay. Aha! A key! Alright, finally. Okay, let's... Let's use the key. A key! What is it? What is it? Hmm. A control device. It seems to be generating an odd sound. A sound generator. Right, so this said something about that. Romna's notes. They say that the sound generator will open the worm transport tube. Okay. So there was a transport tube where the furnace was. Let's see if we can use it. Let's use that A on this. I can't use no, I can't do that. Let's go to the high eggs where all the babies were. This would appear to be the worm transport tube mentioned in Gromna's schematics. Okay. Let's use it then. Must I yes. pass through the bowels of the monster? Oh! of a single beast? What have they done to this poor fellow? He's got an insectoid body. Who are you? I am Gr Grando, and you you are I am Grimwall. G Gr Grimwall the hero. Too late to sa save us now, hero. Where are you from? The research team s s sent to investigate the insect toids. Sent by who? C Council of Peace sent us to s stop the plague of insectoids. Plague? You mean... The insects were going to take over the cities below? Yes. Uh, until Gromna came up with his plan. You mean the peace treaty? <laughs> peace treaty? Uh, hell no. He's helping the, bu the bugs get stronger with those... Cybernetics. They're go going to attack d during the meeting for the treaty. What? I must warn the council before it's too late. Already. Already too l late. Too, too far away from the city. Our poor people are. Doomed. Ramna is a traitor. T t traitor and a butcher. He d d did this to to me. Said he didn't w didn't want me to run run away. S s said I s stay here forever. Team? What team is that? C Council of Peace sent us to s stop the plague of 
insectoids. What are you doing here? I f feed the clones. These aren't real children? Real enough for the queen to, to feed on. By the makers! The makers cannot help cannot help us now. Oh, this is some creep ass shit, isn't it? Caged Cyclops children! Grubs make noise. For what purpose? These grubs are making some kind of faint noise. I wonder. Ugh. Oh, God's sake. Ugh. Crap. So we're not getting anything from there. Can't see anything else around, so we're gonna have to do something here. Alright, so we can Okay. No clues, no? Is this, if this is a musical puzzle, then... There's no indication that... What is the correct pattern? I had to look that up. My musical talents are zero. That was horrendous. Their blood is being drained by this infernal machinery. How can I save these children from such an atrocity? Ah, grown Cyclops children. What a horrible fate. Yeah. Ah, grown. How can I save? Nice. Oh, shit. Uh, do this again then, fine. Okay, don't have to do that again. Alright, let's go and talk to this bug man. Not these children somehow. This looks like part of the great machine, but I can't move it! She's half bug, but she still seems aware as a cyclops. Who are you? Gorilla. I'm surprised to see another cyclops in the hive. Especially in the queen's chambers. You seem familiar to me. Do I know you? I am Grimwall. The Grimwall? 
of the war. But how can this be? It must be a sign from the Makers. Where are you from? The city, of course. I was part of Grona's research team before he betrayed us. I don't understand. How did Grona betray your team? It's a little complicated. But I've managed to piece it all together. I can tell you the whole story if you'd like. What do you do here? I tend to the clones, monitoring their life signs. When they are near the end, I must call for a drone to remove it and carry its body down to the furnace. Then another drone brings up another clone. I do what I can to make their short life a little less painful. It saddens me to see them suffer so. How does this thing work? It's basically a large transfusion machine. Blood is drawn out of the clone and fed to the queen. Is there any way to shut it down? Not that I know of. Grona built it himself with some strange parts. Only he knows how it truly works. I don't have much time, but I'd like to hear your story. I'll keep it brief. After we were captured, the Queen was set to execute us, but Grona convinced the queen to let us live, although now I wish we had been killed swiftly instead of suffering through Grona's so-called surgery. I don't understand. How does this surgery fit into the insectoid's plans? It doesn't. Grona has his own agenda. He seeks to unlock the secret of immortality. The insectoids have a greater metabolism than us, so he hopes to merge the two species and then use cybernetic enhancements in order to live forever. We're his experiments, his failures. We've been assigned to work here until we die. Why do you stay here? Why not just escape? We are part insectoid. We must obey the Queen's will, whether we want to or not. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. One of the unfortunate side effects of merging our two species is dementia. Soon, I'll be quite mad, just like the rest. Okay, well, now what? What do we do here? I need something to stop this machine. Only then can I disengage and remove it. A sledgehammer should grab it. of machinery. I hope this is what Graven wanted. What's the machinery? A piece of machinery. A sound generator. Right, let's go in um, there. Grab it now. Right, so I assume we can go in here somehow. Must I pass through the bowels of the monster? Yes. No, we don't do that. Okay, so maybe we can't go that way. Alright, I thought we could go back up the way we came. Obviously not. Okay, go 
this way. I'll have to climb up there somehow. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Okay. After good. long ages of waiting, the time has come. Today you assemble as outsiders, invaders. Tomorrow, your troops will sweep down upon the city in a murderous wave of retribution. For too long, you have known suffering. You have dwelt beneath the surface and watched your aggressors live in lands where you once lived. Will you remain underground forever? Can you endure this terrible injustice for one more day? I am one of them. I too have been oppressed by your enemy. They laughed at me and my work. The very work which has given you your new cybernetic enhancements. The technology which will mow down all opposition in the coming war. Which will allow you to overrun the capital city of Gronterra and assume your rightful place as rulers of this planet! Your planet! Your time has come! Tomorrow's end will see the end of the Cyclopean Age and the dawn of the Insectoids! He's quite mad, isn't he? Make your speeches now, traitor. You won't have breath for long. The insectoid queen. I will not rest until she is destroyed. Don't do anything. Cameras. Broadcasting Gromna's vile words to the enemy masses. An image of the Cyclops planet. I must not let these bugs destroy my people. Just like Earth. Monsters, I'll crush you. No, I must complete my task for Grant. Okay. These poles are the same as those near the Great Machine. How are they connected? Controls of some sort, their purpose unknown. I'd best leave them alone for now. Okay. Right, so what do we do? These poles are the same as those near the Great Machine. How are they connected? A sound generator. Use a sound generator? No. A piece of machinery. Piece of machinery. Hit that would harm. That won't so that will hit wood. A sound I can't do that. No. I can't. Alright, so I can't go that way. Another way I can go. No. I must need to go through the tube and back out again, surely. I passed? Yes. Yes, you must. You must. Must I? Nothing <laughs> else. Oh, I think I need to use the sound. A sound generator. Oh shit. Huh? Oh great. Now I'm stranded here. Sorry. This flimsy stuff wasn't made to support my weight. Crap. A sound a piece of machine. You send it to him. Yes. Oof. Where did you find this? 
It was powering some type of machine that drained the blood out of the children and fed the queen. This is awful. How could I have been so wrong about Kromna? DNA test cycle initiated. Perfect! Exactly. No! Molecular cohesion negative. Damn it! What is it? It appears to be a miniature wormhole. Where does it lead? Nowhere right now. Think of this as a hallway with only one door open. Until another door can be opened, this doesn't lead anywhere. What about the second missing piece? That could be it. Wherever it is, you must hurry and find it before the peace treaty tomorrow. Something tells me that it's nothing more than a clever disguise for a more sinister plot. I'd better be careful on these paths. It's a long way down. Alright, so let's... Let's go back where we were, I suppose. See if we can... Maybe he's still doing a speech or something. There is nowhere else to go. That's where there was the, there was a portal there. I'm sure there was. Let's go up. Okay. Aha. Okay, good. My god, that's it! All along, it's been so simple! Could it be? My god, that's it! All along, the answer has been right here! Right in front of my eyes the whole time! What answer, Max? Now what? The whole damn hive will be bearing down on us any second now. Hold on. I figured it out. The second piece serves as a compass for the wormhole. With this, I can open a doorway anywhere. I'm setting the coordinates for the chambers of the Peace Council. When we tell them about Gromna, they'll launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the hive. That's it! Let's go!